Hey there shooters, Mike C. Clinton here with the American Warrior Society and I'm also a member of Team Wilson Combat and I want to talk to you just a little bit about the draw process and specifically the draw process from a closed front garment. So here's the deal, most of you that are carrying for defensive purposes or maybe a law enforcement officer may wear a shirt similar to this and it might be a t-shirt or a polo shirt. So let's define what I mean by a closed front garment. A closed front garment is something that doesn't have a button or zipper down the front and is literally closed in the front. Now, if you carry with a vest or a jacket or something like that, I would define that as an open front garment. And there are some sweep considerations with an open front garment that are a little different than a closed front garment. Now, as this video is being shot, it's about to be summer. A lot of you are probably carrying in hotter climates where you're gonna be sweating a lot, maybe with the you know, shorts and a t-shirt on. So I think learning how to draw from a garment like this is very important. Now, before I start the drill in the structural segment, I wanna to talk to you about the gun I'm carrying and using real quick. It's gonna be an unloaded gun, so I'm not doing any live fire. Here at the end of the video, in another video, I'm gonna show you a live fire drill where you can actually work on this skill set. This is the Wilson Combat EDC-9. And it's their short, compact version, the 9mm, very, very reliable gun, one of the carry guns I use on a regular basis. Now, for those of you that are wondering the position that I'm carrying, this is actually called the appendix position. And the sweep that I'm going to talk to you about today and the draw process will work whether or not you're carrying the gun on your side where I am, or maybe farther back, such as 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, or 5 o'clock. And that's a big key consideration. Now, when you are in a situation where you got to draw your handgun really, really quick, consistency is the key. Uh, you can't, for example, be in the Walmart parking lot and draw the handgun and mess up and grab your shirt at the same time. So you've got to figure out a technique that will allow you to sweep the garment out of the way consistently every single time. Being fast on the draw is really important, but remember, if you don't have consistency, nothing means anything else because the second you're in that situation, you're under extreme stress, you need to protect yourself or your family members. If you screw it up, it's on you. So you gotta practice this stuff as well. So let's talk about the sweep of the closed front garment. So because I have a closed front garment, I can't rip the garment open from the front, so I've gotta sweep it from the bottom. And the first question that I often get when I'm teaching this is, you know, Mike, it's, is it okay to rip with the non-shooting hand? So for example, you know, my gun hand is my right hand, my left hand is my support hand. And I see a lot of people trying to, you know, do a sweep of their garment with the non-shooting hand. A lot of people teach what's called the rip and grip method, where you would really, literally rip the shirt up out of the way, grab the handgun and draw it out of the holster. Now the downside to the rip and grip is, let's say I'm in that same situation. I'm in the Walmart parking lot and it's uh, nighttime and it's dark and I believe there's a threat in the environment or maybe something has, has happened that's bad already. Maybe shots are fired, I don't know where the bad guy is. I grab my flashlight and I'm searching the area trying to get back to my vehicle and just as I illuminate that person comes around the corner of that vehicle with a shotgun, brings it to bear and I've got to step offline and draw and shoot. Of course, if I have a flashlight in this hand, I can't use it to sweep. I'll give you another scenario. Let's say, for example, you're in that same parking lot and you're with your six-year-old daughter and things go bad and there's a guy in the parking lot shooting people and you know you're probably gonna deploy your handgun. You scoop your daughter up in an effort to get to the car very, very quickly and now lo and behold, I have my support hand once again occupied with something. So my, my general rule and my recommendation for you is to consider sweeping with your strong hand and always practice with your strong hand. Now here's the deal. When I sweep and grip, oftentimes I sweep with my strong hand and I assist with my support hand, but I have the ability to sweep and grip entirely with my strong hand. If I take this hand, for example, you know, put it out to the side or in my pocket, I can do a full sweep and grip of the handgun with only my strong hand, and that's something you're gonna wanna be able to do, okay? So let's talk about the sweep process. When we're drawing the handgun, I want you to consider following a couple principles. Principle number one is if one hand moves for the gun, both hands move. So for example, you know, maybe my hands were up in a, you know, an interview type stance for a law enforcement guy or you know, some, so, some sort of a posture where I'm starting to posture up and say, you know, say get back from me, you know, someone's approaching on me and they may be armed, I may potentially have to draw my handgun and then things change and I have to draw my handgun. From this position, I need to move my hands at the same time and the same speed. So for example, when I draw my handgun, when one hand moves, both hands move. Now my strong hand is gonna go to the garment somewhere down here on the bottom edge, and I'm gonna use the four finger hook method to actually get the garment grabbed in my hand. So I'm gonna hook the garment just like this. Now keep in mind, when I grab the garment like this, 
I'm going to keep kind of a loose grip in my hand. If I grab the garment tightly, I can't slide my hand, and that's the next thing I'm going to have you do. As I grab the garment, my support hand is kind of starting to set up, you know, somewhere around the center line of my body, and you'll know what it'll do next. The next step of the process is to actually start to sweep the garment out of the way. Now, if my handgun is here, when you're sweeping your garment, I want you to consider drawing a big C. So if you look at the front of my gun, if I sweep the garment, I'm literally going to draw a big C around the gun. And this garment sweep is a very big and deliberate sweep. If you just try to do a, you know, a quick rip and grip of the garment, oftentimes you'll grab the shirt. You don't want to do that. So grabbing the garment here somewhat loose hand. Support hand is kind of getting ready to go. And then I'm going to start drawing a big C around the handgun. Now, right around here, the backs of my knuckles are in contact with my body, and that's keeping the garment from falling back down on the gun. And somewhere right around here, I'm going to switch to my thumb. Notice when I switch to my thumb, though, the shirt is still pinned out of the way. From that point forward, I'm going to drive the hand straight down the handgun, acquire my firing grip, of course, my thumb is going to be flagged, my fingers off the trigger, and as I come out of the holster, notice where my support hand is waiting. It's kind of standing by, so the second the gun drives by, I can index the bottom part of the trigger guard right where the fingers and the trigger guard meet, finish my draw process, drive the handgun straight toward the threat, boom, 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 and fire my shots, okay? One more time, let me show you that. And by the way, those of you carrying the appendix position, make sure you're safely trained and you know how to reholster safely with this particular carry position. So, one hand moves, both hands move. They get in motion at the same time. Four finger hook on the garment. Support hand starts to go to its, its spot. Garment travels loosely through my hand. Drawing a big C, switch to the thumb, drive the hand up the handgun grip, draw the handgun out, index under the trigger guard, drive the handgun out there, boom, 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 fire my shots. Obviously making sure I'm gripping the handgun hard, seeing this, the sights and managing the trigger, okay? One more time from a different hand position. Let's say in this particular case, I started to get my hands up, but I realized things are going bad pretty quickly. So maybe I get a little bit ahead of the game. I call this the cheater position. Basically I'm hooking the garment, but I haven't brandished the firearm. At the point where I decide to draw the firearm, I have a legal justification to do so. Both hands move at the same time, sweep and grip, draw my big C, draw the gun out, index, fire my shots, boom, 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 follow through, whatever you gotta do from there, okay? And that is the closed front sweep, grip, and draw from a garment where you can't sweep it out of the way like this. And remember the key principles of this particular draw process. Number one, I want you to consider practicing your draw with your strong hand only. Number two, when one hand moves, both hands move. And then number three, think about those little pieces of technique I taught you. The sweep with the four fingers, keeping the fingers in contact with the body, the switch to the thumb, and then driving the hand up the back strap of the hand again to, to obtain your firing grip out of the holster, indexing from the trigger guard, and then firing your shots, okay? So now you know how to do a closed front garment sweep, grip and draw, and I'm gonna give you a great live fire drill to actually work this skill in another video.